Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. One thing that criminals look for is access and opportunity. This Karen that you're about to see found her access and opportunity in a package sitting on someone's porch. Unfortunately for Karen, people were ready for her. Here we have a man, and I'm really reluctant to call him a male Karen because he's just hilarious. But he called 911 on the police. I've never seen it before. He's calling 911 on the police officer who just pulled him over and gave him a ticket. You have to see it to believe it. town are you in? I'm in Grand Prairie, Alberta, parked outside the hospital right now. I'm sitting in my vehicle and I'm keeping my okay. composure, but I want this guy to f off. Like, seriously, he's hey, giving me a ticket for stunting just... because he heard me yelling at someone on my phone. And then I fingered him on the way out of okay. there and told him to mind his business and he's pulling me over for stunting again. I feel like driving away and starting a high-speed yes, chase. This is over-policing. Yes, sir. Sir, sir. Just let me put you on hold for one second. No, guy. There, I'm on the phone with your okay. boss, you Kim. Stay on the phone. I'm just putting you on hold. Yeah. What's his name? Constable yeah. Grant. Yeah. F you, I'm on the phone with your boss now, you f you, I'm on the phone right now with your boss. You can try and bully me, you piece of Can I you sixty seven dollars? Are you fing serious? What a joke. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um. There, there's, there's another officer on the way to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. This guy can right off, and he, this ticket he can shove up his. You can stay okay. on the phone with You're me until the other officer you. gets here to defuse the situation. I no longer feel safe because of the little behind me. Okay. I will stay on the phone with you. Okay. Thank you. I'm not. I'm not trying to be rude to you, but this little. I was having an argument on my speakerphone. Now I got a six hundred dollars stunting ticket for arguing because he thought I was calling him. Well, now I am calling. Now I did hear him, and I ain't paying the ticket. He off. Fucking little. You see the finger again? Give me another ticket. And I'm crumpling up a ticket. You hear that? See your ticket? Crumpled up. I'd throw it on the ground, but you'd give me a ticket for littering. F*** you. And I'm not paying this ticket either. He can shove it up. I'll drive uninsured and That's unregistered right, if I have to. I don't give This is bull****. Send a supervisor. If you just send another friggin' stormtrooper, this is just going to escalate. Send a supervisor. Tell them you've been well, assaulted so, uh, as a child I got, by a police I got officer. for somebody to go. Yeah. Kim. Yeah. No, I've asked for somebody to to get out there for you. This will definitely escalate if somebody with some stripes. One thing I'm noticing about these Karens who are demanding a refund, whether it be McDonald's or the dollar store, is that if that refund's less than $10, watch out. Watch out. If it's more than $10, you're fine. But if it's less than $10, 
like in this case, where it's three dollars, <laughs> you're in trouble. Three dollars? Yeah, three dollars. Oh, no, that's right. That's what you wait, make an hour. Oh, okay. Okay. But you, you don't want to be disrespected? Don't be disrespected. Don't be disrespected. What the fuck? Don't be disrespected. Don't be a Chelsea! Chelsea! It's Halloween, and this selfish Karen is trying to steal all the Halloween candy for her son. Fortunately, she's busted. Please leave some for the other kids. Yeah, he was just looking for peanut butter and M&M's. That's all. Yeah, I know. You took the whole bin, though. I Alex. saw you on camera. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. There's nothing more entertaining than watching a Karen unravel at a restaurant and then bringing multiple people into the scenario. That's exactly what happened here. Now this next one is a male Karen who is running a carnival ride. Now male Karen has a problem with a woman on the ride and won't run the ride until the woman gets off of the ride. But wait until you hear why he wants her off of the ride. It's ridiculous. We're ready to ride the ride. We're excited. No. Get off the ride. So everybody's going to wait for you. I'm not running the ride until she gets off the ride. Because I'm excited? Period. Period. I don't want to hear nothing until she gets off the ride. Yes, we Everybody's going to have to wait yes, until security. she gets off the ride. Period. Where have I done wrong? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Where have I done, guys? I'm excited. I'm ready to go. In this 
clip, we have one of the creepiest looking Karens that I have ever seen. Karen and her Karen husband are harassing a man because he's painting Black Lives Matter on Boy, private property. Karen and her husband are claiming he's committing a crime because it's private property belonging to someone else. However, it's his property. And since it's his property, it's not a crime. But Karen and her Karen husband don't seem to understand that's what he's trying to tell them without actually coming out and saying it because it's none of their business. This is your property? Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. So are you defacing private property or is this your building? You're free to express your opinion. No, you, we do. But not on people's property. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. And just respectfully. Sure. So we're just saying absolutely your signs and everything and that's good. This is not this is not the way to do it. Okay. It's private property. But if, there, if I did live here and it was my property, this would be absolutely fine. Totally. If it, and you don't know if I live here or if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh, really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. because we know the person who does live here. Oh, okay. So then um, I suggest you call him or call you. the police. Well, or uh, call the police. Because you're you accusing me of a crime, correct? What I'm asking you is why are you And I'm not this? answering you. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you, your choices are to call the cops if you believe I'm calling a crime, and I will more than be happy to talk to them. Okay, thank you. What's your name again? I'm Lisa. Lisa, what's your last name? What is your name? What's your name? Well, I asked first, Lisa. Crime, what's your name, sir? sir? Robert. What's your last name, sir? What is your first name, sir? I, I don't, I'm not answering. I'm not talking to you. You're talking to me. I'm asking you the questions. Well, we're not doing anything illegal. Neither am I. Well, actually, yes, you are. are actually. Really? Oh, okay. Well, then call the cops. We will do Lisa and Robert. Yeah. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you so Bye. And that, people, is why Black Lives Matter. That's Karen, and she's calling the cops. And this is going to be really funny. Because she knows the people who live here. Personally. The person who you see in this clip is Karen. <laughs> Karen's at her neighbor's house to complain about how loud his car is. The neighbor bought a $40,000 racing car, and that's just how loud it is. And that's what he keeps on trying to tell Karen. But Karen keeps on threatening to do something if he doesn't either blow the car up or sell it. But as you'll see, <laughs> he's keeping that car. Flip. We have a male Karen who bought something, but does not want to pay for a bag. He will not pay for a bag. So now security's been called in and he's threatening to steal the bag. And if you call the cops on him, if you dare call the cops on him, he's gonna hurt you. And he's gonna hurt you so bad. Uh, I do steal it. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not leaving without a little I'm not telling you what I did. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not, I am not. I am not paying for this. I am not paying for this. I'm, I'm leaving. I, you will not call the cops. So let's walk out. I will not go out without my food. You can come back around the system. Or you can try to get the system. And when is the system going to work? You will not go the Police! You do it, I will hurt you so bad. Why is everybody staring at me? Here we have a Karen who's harassing an African American couple because she's claiming okay, that they're living in her home because they can't afford it. And she's trying to tell them through the ring doorbell to get off of her property. Fortunately, she was charged with trespassing, and this video footage was used to convict her. And if you can get away with it, because I'm American, it's my property. Okay, then give me your full name. Go for it. Show me some illegal paperwork, because I know you didn't buy this house, you don't have enough money.
Get off my property. Is Mike and Leslie your real estate agent? Do it. American citizen angry at you. For this next Karen, it's about time that she invests in a pair of glasses. She accuses a woman of walking through the parking lot naked. Well, it turns out the woman wasn't naked. She was just wearing an outfit that matched her complexion. But Karen doesn't seem to get it, so this happens. Who walks through the parking lot naked? Who does that? <laughs> oh my gosh, I met my first Karen. <laughs> I'm too exposed. Here's a Karen who's so triggered by her neighbor's doorbell camera that she decides to stop, walk up to the camera, give it a nice close-up of her face, and then destroy the camera, committing a crime. Not surprisingly, the video footage you're about to see was used to convict Karen of the crime she committed. Seriously, if not, I'm gonna have to start slamming on the one. I'm not okay with that. No, you know what? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. You can't face it. Here's a Karen who apparently thinks she works for the fashion police. She's witnessed a group of teen girls and they are not dressed up to the fashion police code. So she decides to approach those girls and criticize their outfits. As usual, Karen made a fool of herself. You just keep laughing because I'm not laughing. I feel sorry for you. I'm you a little girl like, like you're mad at what we're wearing. The you dress appropriate. Those are bras. Look, we look better than you. Excuse me? Excuse I'm me. I'm, I'm being like your mom telling you that you should. You think you're not my mom? Look That's good you're not you her mom, though. I do but think I'm going to act like one because you girls need it. You don't walk around yeah. town in a bra. Okay, okay like, like, I just want to know why you, why you want to be in our business. We didn't bother you. Why you got to bother you us? You literally were walking. You were sitting in your car. Go put a shirt on. Go put a shirt on and act right. Okay? Go put a shirt on now and act right. No. Come on. Yes, I have three little girls that are growing up and looking at me.